so this is a very important interview question basically so the question would be stated like you know how to copy uh, one mfs to another mfs having uh, you know different depth or what could be asked is how we can copy uh, one uh, one M mfs from one environment to another so these are these are the different two questions they are similar and in some aspects are dif different actually because the environment connectivity and the depth should be uh, uh, should be equal when we copy from one environment to another right so so this happens right so multiple times like we face the issue or data issue uh, problem in our graph fails because of data issue in mfs file so we cannot diagnose the issue in production environment itself so we need to have the data in our lower environment and we if we have a depth different in production and and uh, development so we need to convert the depth or you know by such some mechanism so that we can copy directly from production to a lower environment so to address these questions i i have multiple method of doing it so we are going to see the methods one by one so in this part i'm going to see one method which is you know so which is a graph method like right? we let's say we have a there is an process or job running which is utilizing 64 way mfs in production environment my development environment is 16 way mfs okay and in, but in production i have two multi file system let's say 16 way and uh, 64 way multi file system so that we can create a graph in production environment so that if any issue comes right for for the data parallelism to make the graph process faster we utilizing the 64 way in production right but if the graph fails you know to uh, because the depth are different in production and development right so what we can do is we can create convert the 64 way mfs to 60, 16 way mfs okay because i have two uh, two mfs system in production so i can co um, co um, you know convert that uh, 64 way to 8 way mfs and then i can try you know copy from production to development environment right simply okay so the first things we are going to do is like we can create the graph right to convert one from one depth to another so what we need to have is like it depends upon whether we have a key based partitioning or round robin partitioning right so depending upon that we choose the partitioning component and we allow the all to all flow between the partitioning component and the departitioning component we will use any gather or merge depending upon the whether it is in a key based or whether it is in a you know round robin partitioning so if it is a round robin partitioning my departitioning component would be gather my partitioning component would be partition by round robin and if it is a key based uh, data then i have to have partition by key component and then all to all flow and then my departitioning component is going to be you know merge and then i can uh, collect the output into a, one of the mfs which is their target depth right this is source depth this is a target depth so the graph if i try to design so it will be look like this right so i have an let's say if i have an uh, let's say so i'm using the uh, 64 way which is there in the production and my target is let's say 8 way or 16 way let's say which is equal to the development depth but in production i have to mfs i told right so this is my graph you know this is the 64 way mfs which has the data issue in it and we we can create this graph and we can run that graph to convert that one depth to another and then we can try to copy from the production to the development environment right so we can use the partition by round robin if it is not a you know part key based processing then we have a all to all flows and then repartitioning component and then the target file depth right so why we use all to all flow is like from my left side right any record can go into the target partition you know target multi file system partition from any 
partition of source multi-file system, my record could be flowing into the target partition of the target multi-file system. In the reality, in background, it happens using the algorithm, right? Partitioning algorithm of ab initio. But any there should be a free flow from any you know partition to the any partition, so that we can make sure that you know all the target partition can be uh, uh, the the record can go into the any target partitions right if it is a key based so the algorithm would be different if it is a round robin there won't be a kind of uh, uh, any uh, that algorithm right any record can go into the any partition right in the round robin fashion so this is the this is why we use the all to all flow so these are the three main uh, component you know three main uh, con concept or three main things we do when we create a graph which is to create repartitioning the data basically it is called the repartitioning of the data partitioning component departition component in the all to all flow so thank you so much so in uh, so in continuation of this there are alternate method of you know handling this kind of question or handling this kind of problem in reality we are going to see couple of more methods how we can address this kind of questions or this kind of you know day to day problems in my uh, following session size so for this thank you so much please subscribe my channel and we are going to see